Early spring is notorious for some pretty crazy weather. One day you might find yourself fishing in the middle of a snowstorm, and then the next it could be 70 degrees and sunny. This is the story of my buddy Micah and I chasing the most beautiful fish on earth on one of those 70 degree days. Dude, dude, dude. Now it's a rainbow, but it's... I want to net it because it's a big one. It's like a 12 incher. Is that not incredible, dude? Oh, he just popped off right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this rainbow trout and tell me this is not like, like these are not, that is not one of the prettiest rainbow trout ever. Look at that thing. Holy cow. Chill out, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. Just wow. Just wow. My gosh. So anyway, I'm gonna get this guy released and continue on. Hello, my friend. Beautiful hole, beautiful brookie. Not brookie, sorry, it's a rainbow. Can you please stop twirling? What a pretty fish, though. Whoa, chill, chill, let me, let me get you. Thanks, friend. Fish is running the wrong direction. Jeez, that thing hit harder than crap. Another rainbow. Nothing. Will, bam! Wow, that's just an unbelievable looking fish. I mean, you cannot tell me those fish are not just on another level. He's been caught before at some point. Someone had barbed hooks. Thanks, friend. Back to the depths of the ocean. Brookie, Brookie. I actually saw this fish after I cast it. I saw this fish. And yeah, this is my biggest Brookie of the day. Ouch. It's my biggest Brookie of the day. Incredible little fish. I don't have a dry on, so. I saw him on this flat rock as I casted. He's stuck in. He's stuck on himself. How did you do this, buddy? There we go, guys. Thanks, friend. What a legend. Look at those white teeth. 
six. Just chilling, dude. Here is, look at that brook trout. Jeez, man. That's a, about 10, 10 and a half inch brook trout. And the colors on that fish are incredible. So I'm not gonna mess with them too much. I'm gonna go ahead and get them released. Oh, it's a nice brookie. I got it. How's it? Some shallow water there. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? What a beautiful fish. What a beautiful fish, man. Thanks for playing. This hole is arguably bigger than the other hole. Like it's, it's like so deep. I'm like, I don't even think I can get to the bottom of it. Not with what I got on. It's like my biggest, deepest fly on planet Earth. And then a billion percent luck. It's almost like too big, legitimately. This hole is literally the biggest hole on planet Earth. Can you believe that? It's a brookie. He was sitting right on the edge of that rock down there. I, pull, I saw him, I pulled him up and saw him come up. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, it's okay. I'm just gonna pop him and... Chill, buddy. Thanks for playing, man. Biggest hole in the freaking creek. Yeah. Thanks, friend. That was pretty cool. I didn't think I was gonna catch one out of here. That was a decent fish. Yeah. You just gotta get it so deep in there, like holy cow. That's a big brookie, dude. Net. Net. I don't really know what to do here. That's a big boy, though. Look how big. That's a beautiful brookie. Yeah, if you can go around there or something. Don't go in there. Yeah. It's a big boy. I can't get any further over than that. Well, he looks bigger than water. I think he's probably a 10 though, isn't he? Yeah, he's got a really good orange belly. I could probably sit there and catch fish all day, to be honest with you. Uh, could you? <laughs> oh, hold on. 
I'm trying to get more. Spook everything. He has a really unique halo on his torso. Okay, we can step here on the bank. A lot of people question why I call the Appalachian brook trout the most beautiful fish on earth. Which, to be fair, that's just my opinion. But I think after watching these few clips, I'll at least have put forth a strong argument for that status. These Appalachian brookies are a true mountain gem. Look at that. Wowzers. It's pretty incredible, man. Before I end out this video, I'd like to let y'all know that Renegade Fly Rods is actually running a promotion right now. So if you don't know, Renegade Fly Rods is kind of the rod company that I've been using quite a bit for the past, I don't know, three or four months. And if you use code APRIL22HARD, which I'll flash across the screen right now, and I'll leave it in the link in the description below, you can get 11% off of anything at Renegade. So even if you maybe are on the fence about the rods or maybe you don't want a rod, you can still get a cool new t-shirt or a new hat for 11% off. So go check them out. Go show some support to a company that supports me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you on the next episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures.